maps I find intriguing. Oh, look at this. We're starting off with a GIF. Oh, that is fascinating. Look at it going all snowy, and then it's not snowy, and then it's snowy again, and then it's not snowy, and now it's snowy. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at it creeping on Chile and Argentina down the bottom near Antarctica. Is it kicking off anywhere else? Any other little discrepancies? It gets a bit mad around. Ah, that's the Himalayas, isn't it? That's what that is. Is that the Alps, maybe? Oh, God. What if it's not the Alps? Oh, it is the Alps. It is the Alps. That's right. I know stuff. Happiness map. I have no idea what they've based this on, but I will take it as fact. People are generally quite nice and happy in the Americas, so that's good to see. Very happy in Scandinavia, because, you know, they've got, like, good health system and that sort of stuff. Western Europe's pretty happy, and then it just gets sadder and sadder the more east you go, so that's a bit depressing. Obviously, this map just has a big correlation to poverty, I guess, but hopefully things could only get better. Red hair map of Europe. That's really interesting, isn't it? Over 10% of Scotland, Wales, and Ireland have got red hair, and then there's just a bit of red hair over in Russia, but for the most part, it's not that common. I wonder what it is about the British Isles. Well, I've been trying to look at a bunch of articles, and it seems like it's related heavily to uh, Celtic genes. And apparently, people relating redheads to the Vikings up in Scandinavia is actually a common misconception. Very interesting. Penis size worldwide. Right, okay. All right, so United Kingdom's on yellow, which is 13 inches. Oh, centimeters, centimeters. Thank God. 13 to 14. Bit generous. There are more people living inside of this circle than outside of it. Oh god, I always say something stupid when these kind of maps pop up. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. It's got China and India in there, along with many other countries. Metal bands per 100,000 people. There are so many metal bands in Scandinavia. That's incredible. Oh, this is interesting. Google autocomplete results Europe. Why is insert country here so dot dot dot? So when you type into Google, why is the United Kingdom so? It autocompletes with rich. And it does that for a few places, it seems. We've got Norway and we've got Germany. For Italy, apparently it says racist. I want to fact check this. Why is Italy so expensive? It's out of date. Why is the United Kingdom not a federal system? That map's talking out of its ass. People in the EU aged 25 to 34 who still live with their parents. So this will be quite interesting. So in the UK, 14% of that age group still live with their parents. We've got similar themes in France and Germany. And then it's much less common down here in Greece. So I reckon if this map was updated, I mean, the statistics would be even higher, particularly in the UK, because the housing market is mental. It is just ridiculously broken. And it's just almost impossible for most young people to buy their own house now. So I do not judge anyone living with their parents because the economy is completely broken. Oh, this is insane. 2% of Australia's population lives in this region. We've looked at maps like this before, but yeah, it's basically just showing that everyone lives around the coast. And in a previous map video, we did discover that this central area is equivalent temperature to the Sahara Desert. So you can understand why only 2% of the entire population live in this huge area. How the world would look if mapping conventions were flipped upside down. <laughs> Oh my goodness me! All I can see is a duck. Anyone else see the duck? I can't stop seeing the duck. Yeah, that is really interesting to look at. Everything looks a different shape, but when you actually think of it the other way around, it isn't a different shape. Most popular type of alcoholic beverage. So in the US, in Canada, in quite a bit of Africa, and in the UK, beer is most popular. And then we've got spirits being most popular for almost all of Asia. Obviously, you've got that Russian vodka stereotype, which obviously must have some truth according to this anyway. But yeah, beer is a lot more popular globally than I expected. Expected. But then in Italy, of course, it is wine as most popular. Interesting. The world divided into seven regions, each with a population of one billion. That's an interesting one. So Africa remains its own continent still. I honestly thought collectively there'd be like quite a lot more than a billion people in Africa. Whoa, I've just realized how mad China is because that's not even the entirety of China. That's just a segment of China having a billion people inside of it. Although it does include the Koreas and Japan. I also like Australia just kind of tagging along with North and South America too. Hang on. Do you mind if I get in on green as well? Basically, no one lives here. Oh, Christ. Every country England has ever invaded. All but 22 countries in the world. Nice one, England. So we haven't invaded Mongolia. And there's actually a few countries in Africa that we didn't invade, which is surprising. But I guess that's just because other Europeans beat us to it. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Birthright citizenship around the world. Yes, no, cannot confirm. I don't know what birthright citizenship means. Ah, I have looked into it. And it basically just means if you were born in Canada, you automatically can become a Canadian citizen. Same with almost all of South America and the rest of North America as well. But that is not the case than basically everywhere else. That is interesting. Hmm. Monarchies in the world. Right, so Saudi Arabia, yeah, I think. Oman, I think so. And then these three are Qatar, Bahrain, and Kuwait, Kuwait. And then there's also Jordan. <laughs> I'm checking, I'm checking. Give me a second. Yeah, I was right, wasn't I? 
Yeah, I was. I smashed it. Okay, so all of those places in the Middle East still have a monarch that rules the country, which obviously I assume in most cases democracy is the better option for the people. But I say that as someone who has no idea what's going on in these countries. But yeah, UK is blue, which means we still have a queen, but it's the government that makes the rules. The queen just, you know, uses all of our taxes and stuff. So is the UK queen the figure out of Canada? She bloody is. She gets in everywhere, doesn't she? <laughs> Lactose intolerance. Well, that's interesting. 80 to 100% of African and South America, basically, are defined as lactose intolerant. So it's clearly something to do with ethnicity, which I didn't realize. I mean, we're all kind of lactose intolerant, because when you actually think about it, what are we drinking cow's baby milk for? Bit weird, guys. <laughs> Most listened to artist in every state. Go on, Jay-Z. Jay-Z is dominating Eastern America. Rap is very popular along the US, apparently, because this isn't rap specific, but most of the artists here are rappers. Imagine Dragons managing to sneak in, though. Go on. <laughs> Most corrupt nations. I mean, when you look at these maps, it's always interesting to see that there's basically the same results for most corrupt, least happy, least wealthy. They all basically relay the same data. Driving orientation, an interesting one to end off on. So we see that a vast majority of the world does actually drive on the right. I've always just seen driving on the left as normal. However, the blue's clearly the minority, so perhaps it isn't the most efficient. No, I guess it can't make a difference, can it? I guess it's just you pick one. What we'll do is we'll have a look. Let's see if there's any advantages to driving on the right. Romans started this custom of riding on one side of the road. Historically, the majority of the population was right-handed, so we drove on the right as well. I guess that makes sense. In the Middle Ages, you kept to the left for the simple reason that you never knew who you'd meet on the roads in those days. You wanted to make sure that a stranger passed on the right so you could go for your sword in case he proved unfriendly. That is incredible. Kai, add some sword sound effects. Great stuff. And on that interesting bit of trivia, which I expect you to relay to others, we'll end off the video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I do upload once a week. And it's always something nice and interesting like this. All right, I'll see you later.